up Aquarius welcome to my channel welcome back if you have subscribed before my name is Korea and this will be a reading for Aquarius Sun Moon and Rising placements for October 2020 and first you have the seven of swords in the uh, reverse so upright you have a young lady kind of making her moves on this settlement here and trying to see what she can get. Um, with that being in the reverse, um, I see you guys. Oh, let me look at the second card. <laughs> All right, to see what kind of uh, direction I need to be going into because I was a little confusing. This deck is new and I am still getting to know it. Um, <clears throat> But I feel like with this, I feel like this is external to you. Like this is somebody else. Somebody was keeping tabs on you. They was looking at you, trying to figure out how they could communicate with you and how they could make their moves. But I feel like this person, whoever this was, is no longer interested in you. They had the thought that everything would be amazing with you. Like Ten of Cups energy. Like this is what they're, they were imagining like... Big happy family, blessings upon blessings, the pets, the white picket fence, the baby, and everything being all good. But I'm feeling like this person has pulled back their their energy. Um, there could be somebody else. Um, I also feel like their career um, is taking off. Their career is taking off, and that is another factor where why they are not interested in you. If that doesn't resonate and you feel like this is coming from your energy, then flip it, okay? I'm just telling you how I feel. But this person was very interested in you. They even thought about marrying you, all right? Yes, we have the high priestess. So we have um, air signs, another Aquarius placement or Libra or Gemini. Then we have um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces twice with uh, Pisces with the high priestess okay yeah so um October I see you guys are very intuitive this month I see you gather with a large group of people um possibly for some sort of party or some sort of reunion or ceremony or even like a religious get together um but spirit is going to be speaking to you um at whatever this is this could be a christening it could be a wedding it could be anything in October and spirit's gonna be speaking to you um at this at this gathering or before or after the gathering happens um yeah because you're gonna be gathered with some sort of group possibly together with your um your job or um your relatives or friends or something like that um but yes um your intuition is going to be peaking in october and there's things that is going to be downloaded into you that you need to know at this point in time. Um, I'm also hearing past life. So past life things um, could be coming up for you this month. Uh, the full moon. Is this a full moon? It was a full moon at the beginning of October. And there's going to be a full moon at the end of October on Halloween. On the 31st. So the, I feel like the full moon is going to be important for you. Because uh, we have the full moon here, you, you'll receive a lot of downloads around that time, a lot of intuitive messages. Um, yeah, I'm also seeing that some of you guys will be astral projecting or having these lucid dreams, and they're very profound. All right, let's look at your love uh, romance card for the month. You have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. So, um, you have many suitors many people that is interested in you just like this part here but this person they wasn't the correct person for you and um either they realize that now or you realize that now but there is somebody coming in for you that is destined to be in your life but you have to wait a little bit longer for it for it you have to be a little bit more patient because things are going to happen at the correct time that is supposed to happen okay your oracle card for the month is embracing enthusiasm. 
Shout to the heavens with happiness. Yes. So express your gratitude is what I'm um, getting with. Express your gratitude for all the things that have been transforming in your life. Um, I did a reading on Aquarius recently where I said that this winter is going to be a time of transformation for you. And look for all these butterflies. A lot of deep transformational things is happening for you. And it's going to make you so happy. It's going to make you feel very fulfilled. Uh, and I just feel like this this blessed energy over over your being, Aquarius. So I hope you got some helpful messages from my reading. If you did, let me know by um, hitting the thumbs up on this video, commenting below, and I'll talk to you next time.